Hello and welcome to a new video lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to connect the Wi-Fi module ESP8266 to Arduino Uno. ESP8266 and its successor ESP32 are powerful microcontrollers that function flawlessly in either of station or access point mode. We shall start by learning the pin diagram of ESP. Hold the module in the same position as displayed in this image. Use the shape of the copper antenna as the compass that points north. The first pin from the bottom left is VCC, used to provide power of 3.3 voltage. Make sure that you don't provide higher voltage, as the SP module doesn't have a regulator. The first pin from the top right is the ground pin. Next on the top left is the TX pin, used to transmit or send data. And then next at the bottom right is the RX pin, used to receive data. The reset pin on the left of the second row from the bottom is used to restart the module on low signal, that is zero voltage. On the third row left is the chip enable pin, CH underscore PD, and it is used to enable the chip on high voltage and takes 3.3 volts. Then we have general purpose input output pins, GP underscore IO one and two. So now let's connect the Arduino Uno and the ESP8266. First connect the VCC power of ESP to the 3.3 volt pin of Arduino. Then connect the ground pin of ESP to the ground pin of Arduino. Connect the TX pin of ESP to the TX pin of Arduino. And then connect the RX pin of ESP to the RX pin of Arduino. And then connect the reset pin to the 3.3 volt pin of Arduino. Finally connect the CH underscore PD, the enable shape pin of ESP to the 3.3 volt on Arduino. Now let's introduce the ESP driver and the ESP instruction set using the Arduino IDE. First go to file and then preference and then under additional ports, manage URLs, make sure that you add this URL which brings the driver for the ESP8266. The link will be provided in the description of this video. Hit OK. Now go to Tools and then select Board and then under Boards Manager and then search for ESP8266. This will bring the ESP8266 community and make sure that it is installed or updated if an update is available. Now close this window. Now go again back to Tools Make sure that the board is Arduino Uno and the port is pointing also to Arduino Uno and finally that you are using the correct programmer AVRISP. Now let's burn an empty sketch to the board. This will make sure that there are no other programs running on the Arduino that might cause conflicts later. It says done uploading. So let's open the serial monitor and let's start sending commands to the ASP module. First make sure that you are using both NL and CR for new line and carriage return and also are using 9600 pod. The first command will make sure that our circuit is connected correctly and is listening to the Arduino instructions. Let's type AT and hit enter and we should receive the response OK. If you don't receive the very same response then you debug your connections and make sure that you are using the correct configurations in the IDE. We can also restart the ESP module using the command AT plus RST and hit enter, we should receive the response that the module has been restarted as follows and ends with the ready instruction. So now let's inspect the version of the ESP module so that we can find the correct instruction set on the official website for this very same version. The command we will use is AT plus GMR and hit enter. The version I have obtained here is 0.4 you might be using a later version, so make sure to consult the official documentation for that version. Finally, let's make sure that the module is set up as a station using the command AT plus CW mode question mark. You can see here that we have obtained the mode of the Wi-Fi module to be number one. According to the documentation, this is the station mode. The other mode is access point or soft access point. However, in, in this use case, we are interested in the station mode. As we will be using the Wi-Fi module to connect 
to a server or a router. In this video lecture, we have demonstrated the ESP pin diagram and how to connect the Arduino and the ESP module. And also we have investigated how to use the Arduino IDE to set up the ESP drivers. And finally, we introduced the AT instruction set. Thank you and see you in the next video lecture.